Since it's Halloween, I wanted to do some sort of spooky video. You know, because it's the season for spooks, candy, and kids in Fortnite costumes. So, with Halloween in mind, anonymous asexual. Asexual, or as I proceed to call them for the rest of this video, Luna runs some sweet comic on Tumblr about them being asexual. I think it's quite difficult to observe the actual main idea if it isn't them being asexual. I took an hour out of my night to go through all their comics and posts, inspecting and learning. And by the way, Luna's YouTube channel has one of the worst like to dislike ratios I've ever seen. Anyways, enough of me monologuing like some cartoon villain. It's time for their comics. The first comic is about these grey Mongolians, who for some reason are featured in all of Luna's comics, usually in a bad light too, Re disregarding this one. Anyways, I have never had sex. Can I still be ace? I enjoy sex and masturbation. Am I still ace? I'm a man. People tell me I can't be ace. I'm still questioning whether I'm ace or not. I'm sex positive. Can I be ace? Hold up. You can't all possibly be ace. Okay, so I have a question to present to the table. Why do these people care if they're ace so bad? It's not like you get any brownie points for being asexual. That question aside, why does the person in the second tab who says they enjoy sex and masturbation ask if they're ace? No, you aren't. And Luna's even promoting the idea that having more people in an argument makes you automatically right in the last tab. Shame on you, Luna. Shame on you. Worse than Kanye in Trump's office right now. Hey, pretty lady. <clears throat> I do not wear this tight ass binder just to be mistaken for a girl. Jesus Christ, calm down. Now, the correct way to handle this would have been, hey, pretty lady. Oh, hello there. But, um, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm not really a lady. Or, don't mention it. Just brush it off. You don't gotta be such a dick. You're literally making yourself seem like that one redheaded lady from the Triggered Meme two years ago. Tumblr is the worst. Y'all keep making up these stupid new genders and sexualities. It's so stupid. Tumblr shouldn't exist. Wait, you think Tumblr invented these feelings and ideas? <clears throat> Honey, I've got something that'll blow your mind, and it's called history. Yeah, I highly doubt history made these creations. Looks like Tumblr did, or maybe that's just my faulty eyes. I know what I'd love to add is how you make yourself look like such a hero in these comics, but don't get me wrong, people saying these types of things about Tumblr are pretty simple-minded influenced opinions from Tumblr's bad rep, but you, Anonymous Asexual. Anonymous Asexual, or as I'll proceed to call them for the rest of this video, Luna, aren't making people think of Tumblr any better. Are you gay or straight? No. Actually, according to your alternative Vora account, you're panromantic, so you like pretty much everyone. So you could have said that instead of no, and once again making yourself look like a dickhead to the simply curious Mongolian. I don't get why people have such a hard time understanding asexuality. Trust me, I know exactly what you mean. People ask me if it's my gender. You're kidding. But, but, sexuality is right in the word. Well, you know that and I know that, but people don't really like to listen. Yikes. Yikes. I honestly doubt anyone's confused asexuality as being a gender. That's pretty weenus. But I mean, not everyone's educated in all these sexualities. In the outside world, most people know gay and straight, and that's pretty much it. You gotta keep it fair, you know? This one's titled, An Argument With My Father. I don't know what this world's coming to. There's so much pain and hurt in the world right now. So much hate. And it feels like it's just getting worse. Oh, come on. You're still on this? When will you see that things aren't that bad? We just have to wait and see what happens. Sorry to break this to you, but some of us don't have the luxury of being able to sit around and wait for something to happen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out. I'm just saying we can't jump to conclusions, blah, 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 blah. I can't be bothered to read the rest of this part. You can't possibly be serious. You are a straight, middle-class, Christian, white, cisgender male. There's no reason for you to be targeted, because you don't fall outside of the norm. You won't go through what minority groups are experiencing. Waiting around for... <sighs> Does that bother you at all? Well, that's just their opinion. That is not an opinion. It's called a bigotry. Liking sandwiches or movies is an opinion, or preferring a certain sports team, but believing that some human lives are worth less than others? Not a goddamned opinion. 
There's three more pages of this that my body cannot even function to read. So I'm going to speak my mind now. Considering this is an argument with your father, it's pretty shitty. Also quite unfortunate that you two have to even have this conversation. I highly doubt for the life of me your father even said half of this stuff. Bite me. You are a straight, middle-class, Christian, white, cisgender male. If I, if I was your father, I would have slapped you silly. Shut up. This line was so unnecessary that I, could, I can't even imagine. I don't mean to say SJW or use that term, because I never do. But you're sure as hell acting like a stereotypical one. You don't really have to get all offended and say half of this shit. It could have been a genuine debate instead of, instead of what it... Whatever it is now, if you didn't pull that card. And oh, last thing about this one. Believing that some human lives are worth less than others? That is an opinion. But I'm not saying it's right. So, you're asexual and constantly preach that yeah, you have an alternative Tumblr blog about Vor. And this, you also say, Vor isn't inherently sexual. But that's for another time. These comics are absolute anus. And after all of this, the only thing I know about Luna's personality is that they're extremely pretentious and kinda penis. I have a migraine, and I'm done here. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Mind just after ripping through my nose.